flower boy, wild and free. I wanted you to be my sweetheart. Welcome to the remote island of Pena, located just south of the equator in the South China Sea. Sheltered by wind and swell from the neighbouring islands that form Greater Linga in the Riau Archipelago. Similar to the Bajo, or Sea Gypsy tribes of Sulawesi, the people of Penar Island live life in sync with the ocean, with their main source of income stemming from fishing activities. The locals live in stunning traditional style Malay homes and are some of the most welcoming and friendly people we've met so far. We almost skipped this unsuspecting little gem of an island. Thank goodness we didn't. All I want is you, you be my bride. Take me by the hand and stand by my side. All I want is you, will you stay with me? Hold me in your arms and sway me like the sea. What's, what are you doing so today? Fresh water side or the, the non poo side of our toilet. It needs to be played like a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, the job's done now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Making sure she's all good. Well, no, what, tell us what's actually wrong with it though. Why do we uh, want to look at it? So basically, oh, toilets on boats just don't. Never work. Fit the game right so this side this side pumps out the shit all good and the wee poo and the wee um but it doesn't bring in, the water yeah. back in right and then the other side is the opposite so it pumps the water in like a champion like flows in like like a normal toilet Fresh at home water, yeah. but then it doesn't pump out as, as fast well. as this one so We've trying got the to diagnose problems, problems, don't we? Yeah. So trying to maybe use parts from that to get both of the toilets, use parts of both the toilets to create one super toilet. <laughs> <laughs> one super toilet. Oh god. So yes, as you ha are well aware from every video that we do, there is always something to be fixed on board. Always. Yeah, we've broken the things. We're in the block today and and like the same things happening on everyone else's boat and it kind of it makes you feel better when you do read stuff like that but someone else is having a problem as well because it does get to you after a while like this morning hmm. this morning um one of the kombucha <laughs> built up enough pressure to explode the bottle glass bottle that was in and it shot glass it hit lauren in the head shot glass <laughs> at her head and there was glass on the other side of the boat from this explosion so I tried to film, but I kid you not, the GoPro was flat. And you were crying. And so. I cried after. D then Dylan was couldn't deal, so he went and had a shower, and I cleaned up and cried because it's the second time my kombucha like f has not exploded, but just like something bad has happened to it. That exploded. This time it exploded. Last time we were on underway, and I didn't put it away properly enough, and it just, it just tipped over and went everywhere. And then the same thing today after it exploded, it was everywhere. It like because it sits up here in this little thing and it's it's in a good spot for like doing stuff with but it means that it's up high so when it 
when something happens to it, it spills like down here and then it runs down along there and then it spills down like into the oven and it goes into the cupboard and then it goes down there and it goes all the way along here and then it falls down here and then it's all here and it's a huge thing because it's in every drawer and it's sticky and it, oh. Anyway, so it's been quite the day on board Blue Moon and we've spent basically two hours cleaning that up together, the two of us. And I'm doing some um, like computer filing for all of our video files, which takes a long this time. This purple hose has got a kink in it somewhere. That could be it. Because like I cleaned the sea strainer and it's all good. Anyway, you don't want to watch this because it's a toilet, so no, it's you interesting. Don't see, you don't see people. people filming cleaning their toilets at home, do you? No, but it's interesting on a boat. Do you guys want to watch this? I f if I was watching a sailing channel, I'd want to watch the poor bastard that has to clean the toilet. Good morning, guys. So, we are moving Anchorage from this little place that we've been at for the last few nights. We haven't gone to shore yet. Um, because we've been doing editing and doing all sorts of computer stuff that we've been doing quite a lot of lately, actually. Uh, and before we move, we're like, okay, before 10 o'clock, let's go to shore and kind of suss out this little fishing village and go for a little wander and explore. But we've noticed that this morning they've, they've had call to prayer for longer than usual. And after a while, we kind of decided that the guy on the loudspeaker sounds like sad. And maybe there's like a bit of sorrow in his prayer or in his voice or whatever. And we're speculating that maybe there's a funeral going down. So we're still going to go to shore. We're going to bring the dinghy down and just row in. We don't want to have to bring the outboard down. But can you imagine if we go to shore and it's like a village funeral? Maybe they'll invite us. I don't know. We'll see. So that's what's going on today. We're going to go in and have a little look around. Why not? Okay. Let's Ready? go to shore. All right. Excuse our dinghy for being absolutely filthy, but we've been collecting rubbish for a while now, haven't we? We only brought the dinghy down. We did not bring the outboard down because it's a bit of an effort to bring it back up. So we just brought this down. Dylan's rowing us in like a champ. Even though he's grumpy, he's still rowing us in like a champ. Uh, the island looks really interesting from the air because it's like this, you know, perfect little kind of dot island with this, um, around the perimeter, there's the uh, jetties, I would call them, that kind of jut out. Yeah, like a kind of, you know, houses on stilts, and then each little house from the aerial view seems to have like a little jetty that comes out, and everyone's got a fishing boat attached. Um, but one thing I would point out is that it's a fishing village, says our guidebook and says the information that we've uh, researched. But I don't see a huge volume of boats going out, as in like other places we've been where it's not necessarily a fishing village. There's, you know, hundreds of boats that go out every night, but here it's quite modest. So kind of leads us to believe that maybe it's a bit more sustainable than elsewhere in Indonesia. So all along the, um, the shallows here, there's like, you know, pontoon, what, what stilts made out of old coconut tree, like trunks. Uh, nets all in the water. So I don't know if they bring their catch from out there in here or they're trying to get tiny little reef fish here. Maybe they put it all in there and keep, keep it alive, to keep it fresh. Maybe, yeah. Keep it in the water. I hope we're coming into the right part of town. I don't know if there is a town. <laughs> we're coming into the right part of the island. I think there's a road. Right? A little dirt road, yeah? Or yeah, there's a road packet. throughout the whole thing. Yeah, yeah so I saw that on the aerial view. There's no right, wrong spot for bullets to rock up. Any place is a good place for a bullet. Look at this little hut here, right on the beach. Tiny little one. Now, I'm imagining that the pollution and the rubbish is going to be next level. I can't imagine they have a good system. Yeah. I mean, tiny little island like this, their options are burning it or chucking it in the ocean. And I reckon they choose the latter. This guy's brushing his teeth. Hello! <laughs> Huggy! Oh yeah, rubbish central. All right, you guys, this is the state of the rubbish situation. No surprises there.
doggy. See this little dude in the window here? You probably can't see him. How are you? Hello, Puggy. Namaste, Dylan. Yes. Hello, Namaste, Lauren. Yes. What's your Nama? Kalan. Kama. Nice to meet you, Nama. My name Rindi. Rindi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Check out the quality of this beautiful home. Wow, it's adorable and well built and like stained and, and really, really beautiful. And I'd say this is the main road through town. No, they're, not, they're not missing out on anything on TV. Hi. Hi. Nama, Saya, Dylan. Nama. Rizel. Rizel. Nama. Napsi. 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 Ais. Paris. Paris. Nama. Dani. Dani, that's right. And Nama. Dazi. Nice to meet you. So, so far, we've seen tons of beautiful homes, all really beautifully maintained. A local restaurant, so a local warung. A school. Tons and tons of friendly, beautiful people. And this is here, this is where this is where the paved road seems to end. And it's on to dirt sand. So a gentleman has just stopped us because him and his friends would like to practice their English. That's fine by us because we like to practice our Bahasa. Where do you come from? Uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah. You've been here before. I'm uh, sailing to Singapore. I see. But with the boat Rahulaya. Rahulaya. The big wind. Yeah. Big yeah. Wind. yeah. Windy. Yeah. yeah. Windy. My name is Johan. Johan. Yeah. yeah. Namaste, Lauren. Lauren. Yeah. And Dylan. And you? Dylan. 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 This is all my friends. This is all your friends. Okay. I'm mean, I mean, able to photo. <laughs> They, they would like to take a picture with Kalapa. Just sitting and here with these guys, these local, um, local guys. In Thailand actually, the majority is for uh, fishermen. Fish, yeah. Uh, fishermen. Yeah. Um, we, did, we did fish and then the coconut also. Uh -huh. And am. some vegetables, yeah. What vegetables? Do you grow them here or do you bring them from other we islands? We bring from another island. From Linga? Um, we call Panchul. Panchul is another island. Where? About, about the direction. Okay, yeah. About, about two hours I think from here. On boat, by, by boat. boat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they have like what stuff like um Cancun and ba Bayam. Yeah, yeah. 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 Green stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scandary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice school. Yeah. Yeah. It's every all the houses are well looked after. They're very the houses are beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, this is um traditional style, I mean Malay style. Malay Malay style. Style. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know an Indonesian song. <laughs> Ready? <clears throat> di sini sana, di sana sana. Do you know? Does yeah, it, do you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This uh, yeah. basic song. Yeah, yeah. Like it's very song. basic. Yeah, in um, but you learn when you're really little. Right. Yeah. Right, right, um, right. in in Australia we have we learn in Bahasa. Oh yeah. In primary school. Oh, yeah? And also, satu, satu, sayang, sayang, ibu. Do you know that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we learn in, in primary school. <laughs> when we're little. Or when we're like, yeah. In Australia now, it's learn Bahasa. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think in all schools. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, in Victor, like South. Well, so in, in many schools. We oh. train okay. together, we eat together. Okay. This is okay. for our friendship. Are you okay. sure? No, yeah, we don't want to impose. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. This, is, this is our celebration day. So Trumakasi. this is welcome for all. Yeah, yeah. Trumakasi. So yeah. friendly. Yes, it's yeah. very nice. This is our for, for our friendship. Yeah? Very kind. Yeah, for friendship. Yeah. yeah of <laughs> <laughs> so this lovely gentleman has just asked us to eat with him. <laughs> uh, so okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Pena. <laughs> yeah. uh, we call ketupat. Ketupat is made from uh, rice. Oh. Yeah? Okay. oh, from rice. From rice. Yeah. Okay. So it's like smushed up rice together. Yeah. yeah right. So oh rice God. and then yeah. chicken and fish. <laughs> <laughs> but they, everyone else, are they going to eat? Are they going to eat? No. They're going to makan again. Makan. Yeah, yeah. Makan. Makan is eat. Makan, makan. Yeah. Oh, so, 
how to eat this. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the rice. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Yes. Different. I masak dia sedikit dulu. Ah, semai time. I masak dia. Yeah, you take this. Yeah. Yeah. And then eat. Yeah, just eat. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I'm going to open up one of these. Bad What's this nama? Kutupat. Kutupat. <laughs> Can I try one of these as well? What's this one? Summer cracker as well? Uh, sweet. Sweet, yeah. Mm. That's amazing. Eat with us. <laughs> Alright, so. That's good. Yeah. So, and is this, is this banana leaf? Banana? No? Uh, no, coconut. 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 Oh, spicy. <laughs> spicy! Yeah, yeah. We get, we get a drink for you. To me, usually the people catch by boat and then they put some light. Yeah. yeah. Some light and then when the chumi come closer, they catch. They catch them with the net? Yeah. Does everyone pretty much yeah. here fish? Yeah. 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 Where does it go? Where does it, you just eat it at home? There is, there is a Chinese uh, from another island, it's from Pancho. Ah. The, the, they buy all the fish, oh. and then bring to the pancho, and then they export some to Singapore. Really, for yeah. China? Yeah, Singapore. to Singapore. Ah, oh. some is uh, sent to Batam. Some is sent to Singapore. Ah, oh. yes, right. yes. Right. So yeah. year by year, it's less and less. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone can notice that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Same with chumi, less and less. Yes. Yeah. Less and less. Yeah, but what about ikan bilis? Always lots of ikan bilis. Sometimes, 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 yeah. So, generally, year by year, it's less and less. Yeah. What happens when they're all gone? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is something unpredictable. Yeah. This is yeah, a, you yeah, don't know. It's, I know a, it's one of those things. This is from the God. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. What you don't know what to do. What to do about it? How lucky are we? The luckiest people alive. Do you feel lucky? Yeah. Do you feel honoured? Yes. I do too. <laughs> this, is, this is the photo crew. I think photo. I need a pet duck really bad. I would just, I could just give it so much love. So the, our friend Rohan, oh sorry, that's not his name. His name's Johan. How embarrassing. Sorry, Johan. Uh, I, did, I was kind of talking to him about what fruit and veg they grow here and it's really minimal. They, it's a sandy island so the soil's not good. So they grow coconuts and that is about it. But I did see this plant here. It looks like some sort of citrus maybe. But it's got a funny little thing on the end so maybe it's not a citrus but they're growing something. Um, and then the rest of their stuff comes from another island. Someone goes and gets it. And brings it back so they've got like a tiny tiny little convenience store that sells like cigarettes and snacks i think and the rest of their stuff they get fruit and veg from another island and then they have chickens on the island and then they catch fish so there's a little convenience store here speak of the devil check this out they've got a big set of solar panels they're looking a bit worse for wear i can't imagine they're doing much My dream has come true. Hello, coaching. Hello. Oh, Dylan, it's so cute. Let's keep him. You want to come pat him? No. Oh, no, the other one doesn't like me. Coaching. Oh, I miss my kitty at home. Pippi, if you're watching, I miss you. Puss. Hello. Hey, darling. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a good scratch. Bye. Sampai jumpa. Back to Blue Moon. And off to the next anchorage. <laughs> you see everyone up here? Waving goodbye? It's probably a bit far away for you guys to see. We hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and Johan on Penar Island. What a humbling experience being welcomed into town with such open arms. Catch us next time on the Sail North. Dill brews up a fragrant concoction to dump over my head to appease King Neptune as we cross the equator. 
Goodbye, Pollywog, hello, Shellback. Now I'm a real sailor. Sailing Blue Moon videos are made possible by our patrons and viewers just like you. If you'd like to support our content creation while receiving perks in return, you might consider becoming a patron. Or maybe you'd just like to buy us a beer or donate to the Sailing Kitty via PayPal. Every little bit counts and we'll be sure to give a shout out. If you enjoy our content, you can help us out by liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell to the right to be notified of new episodes. We'd also love to hear from you, the viewer, so hit us up in the comments below. And lastly, you can follow us in real time on Instagram and Facebook. As always, thanks for watching Blue Moonies.